Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, fries flat. It's a bit chilly this morning. Everybody's still in bed, so I thought I'd quickly do this video just for you guys. Now, what I'm going to do is show you my um, King's Rooftop tent. Now, I've had this for a year now, a year today just about, and it's the Mark One. So it's had a few improvements over the time. So what we'll do now is I'll just get up there and I'll, I'll show you my um, rooftop tent. Oh, right, here we go. This is the King's rooftop tent. This is currently mounted on my trailer. It's been my trailer since new. I just thought, oh well, it'd be good for the trailer. I think I was one of the first, if not the first one to put it on a trailer. So I'm gonna take credit for that, even if it didn't, even if it wasn't me. But yeah, this is the Mark One, as I said before. First thing I did when I got it, I saw a YouTube video, like you are right now, and he had a Mark One and he had a problem with his ceiling falling in and pointed out the fact that these pop rivets on the top may need to be sealed. So what did I do? Oh, I sealed them. So I sealed those ones. I sealed up around those rails just up there, which are for your solar panels and things like that. I haven't put any solar panels on mine. So that was the first improvement. The second improvement I did to it was I put a, um, I mounted my kick-ass shower to it, as you can see there. Works really well, really well on the King's mounting brackets. There is a video on that on this channel somewhere. I'll see if I can find it for you. I'll put a link in it. And uh, that's worked really well there. And then, um, what else did I do to it? Oh, I moved the ladder to this position here, which I quite liked. I thought it was a good idea. Then, my next improvement, when I found out the roof lining fall, can fall in, I got, oh, I got a bit upset about that. So I was online, as you are right now, doing the same sort of thing. And I saw a, 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 a posted a forum, and it said the Kings have now released mounting brackets on strengthening brackets for the roof. And I thought, oh geez, I'll get some of those. And I got them. They sent them out to me for no, with no charge, which was pretty awesome, I thought anyway. And so I put them in, also did a video on that. And the next improvement I did was, I got their bath, their rooftop, little carry or caddy or whatever you want to call it. Holds a nice little iPad there, as you can see. Headphones there so I can listen to my music or whatever it is at night without disturbing everybody. Then I did another improvement. And nothing flash, just a nice string of lights that run up the side here. Run by a little power pack, which is uh, just there, so that runs that. And my next improvement was my fan in the roof. Now that's a, uh, an Iron Man fan, it has a fan in there, and has a light, and it's just on a... Uh, cable tie up there just hangs up there right above my bed it's a really good fan i bought this a few years ago from one of those four-wheel drive shows it works fantastic and it'll run all night so those hot nights yeah you're in your tent pop that on it's beautiful and then my next improvement is i put a mattress topper on my on the bed i just got that this weekend so i had a really good night's sleep because the mattress in this isn't that flash in this king's one it's very hard so if you're going to get one just make sure we put a mattress topper in there because it's a very hard mattress. And um, that's really all I've done to improve the tent itself. I have got new rams, as they call them, for there. I just haven't put them on yet. I'm just a bit lazy, to be quite honest. So they let us out of lockdown so we could do this. I'm going to put mine up. Put the rain flaps out, as you can see there. Or what do you want to call it? Rain flap. I'll call it rain flap. Um, I only put two sides out because I can't get the other side out because of my awning. So it seems to work alright. I just leave it rolled up like that, as you can see. Just rolled up. And it works alright. If it's inclement weather, it's you know, going to rain. I let it out. I just put a hockey strap to it and tie it to the bottom of the trailer. So that's my Kings Mark 1 Grand Tour. A rooftop tent. I've had, oh geez, I've had some good nights in it. I've had some bad nights in it too, you know, when you hit the cans a bit hard. And that's it, so it's been really well. So that's the Mark 1. The Mark 2's got a lot more improvements. A lot of things have already been done that I've done on here. You know, they've fixed up that roofing problem. They've fixed the leaks as far as I know. Uh, they've put a seal on the front of it. A friend of mine, uh, Nass from Nass Time Adventures, got a YouTube channel. He's got the Mark II. So what we might do is we'll have a look at his one day too. All right, guys. Hope you enjoy the video. 
everybody's still in bed. <laughs> Having a great weekend away. Uh, we'll uh, see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, bye for now, guys.